Tonga Saturday night, I presume we're fully expecting an Ireland win. How difficult will this match be? Physicality has been talked about for one. That's a starting point, Fiona. Yeah, it's 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 going to be very difficult. I think Tonga, we say they're a physical team, but they're, they're much more organised now. Um, their set pieces is, is really good. Mm. Um, similar to what we saw out of Fiji the other night. Um, you know, their offloading game is brilliant, but where they've kind of, they've had a lot more time together mm. training than they've had in, in previous World Cups. Um, and I think we'll see it on the stage. So, from the offset, I think this Ireland management team have earmarked this as a as a huge game, you know, that we can't throw out a, a second string mm. team, you know, that Tonga are going to be essentially good. You've got the likes of uh, Fekitawa, Aki, um, Big Pia, Ben there at tight head. Is, Pia Tau is back and yeah. Adam Coleman who played for, for Australia. Australia is so this there. is the eligibility rule which they've changed. So if you haven't played for whichever country you're playing for for three years and you're born in country or parent or grandparent, you can go back and play. So it, it was interesting reading the media, Matt, uh, all of these players like Piatau, mm. born in Tonga, never got to play for Tonga, you know, whipped off away and off to make his, his career elsewhere. Um, they're unbelievably emotional. Yeah. Mm. Like they're actually back in their homeland. They're about to play at a World Cup. Yeah. And maybe in his wisdom, Andy Farrell has realized there's a quite a lot of emotion coming our way on Saturday. Oh, there'll be a huge amount of emotion for sure. And, uh, you know, their coach, Toto Kefu, the great Wallaby number eight, you know, Toto, you know, he was attacked in his own home and was suffered incredible injuries. You know, just the fact that Toto has recovered from that and and has, is here living like he's a very inspirational guy and, and he's very passionate about, you know, the... He, Tonga and the, mm. and the culture, the culture, the, the Poly Polynesian culture and the Tongan culture is very, very strong mm. in the team because it's so strong in the in the Tongan community in Australia and New Zealand and obviously in, in the islands and they go back and they say, so yeah, you're going to get it. And then when I've played against them with a lot of Tongan players and they are powerful, but what we also uh, always forget is their skill. They are some very, very skillful players in this and they'll they'll put up a, a, a really strong performance. Yes. I think for the first hour, maybe that last 20 uh, might get away for them. But uh, there's certainly they lost to New Zealand very badly a few years ago. But this is a totally different side. Final word to you, Andrew. You are chief protagonist, by the way, in the Ireland aren't as sharp as I would like them to be grouping. OK, you're, you're leading that group. It's your you piggyback that. Yeah. Yeah. I see where you're coming from. Uh, so I guess... That's what you want to see from Ireland, that, that crispness, that sharpness, that mm -hmm. flow, and obviously line out to be sorted out as well. Thank you very mm -hmm. much. These are what I think you're looking at in particular. Yeah, I think so. I want to see, I want to see a kind of a, a building a momentum. I want, to, I want to see a side that look like they're ready to play the spring box. And I think this is perfect for them. Um, continuity, we saw what happened in France whenever they didn't have continuity. Andy Farrell says continuity, this selection is all about that. Respect and continuity. And I think we're going to see them ramp up nicely towards what is effectively the big game next week. There's there's three lads in that um, uh, Tongan backline that all have Irish rugby experience. They understand mm -hmm. Irish rugby. They'll be a test. And I think it's important that Ireland go out and nail that. Yes, absolutely. And Tyler, Tyler uh, Blindall's in the coaching ticket as well. So lots of knowledge there.